Just where I'm off to once again. So as you can tell, I'm in the U.S. of A again. I have a sickness and I need an intervention. I have, I guess, sometimes they say when you, when you have an addiction of some sort, that when you stop that addiction, you'll go to another. So when I had the surgery for the weight loss, I don't think I really had a big addiction. My problem of weight loss was just being lazy, not exercising, and eating nothing all day and eating at night. But whatever, whatever reasons it was, I don't think I have a major addiction to food because half the time I'm not even hungry. I don't even care about food. But now, I mean, I've always had a shopping problem. I mean, I still, I'm careful. I'm not just spending money every day, all day, you know, racking up all of these credit cards. But, yeah, I think it's a, it's a sickness a lot of people have, and I have a bit of it. And um, I'm happier when I go shopping, <laughs> especially in the States, because it's, like it's like some people like going to garage sales. I used to like doing that when I was younger, looking for toys. And I remember being so addicted to looking at the paper. I couldn't wait to get the paper so I could circle all the, the different garage sales. And I couldn't sleep all night because I had to get there. So there is something a little bit uh, off in my brain <laughs> that it's like, um, not addiction, but I don't know what you'd call it. OCD or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of obsession. Anyway, but I like shopping. And I, you know what, it's funny because I didn't really care about shopping for clothes before that much. I liked shopping for purses and shoes before because you know what, it didn't matter if they fit, right? And you felt special when you got a new pair of shoes or a new purse or accessories, made you feel better. But now I can fit into a lot of things, so, but you know what, I'm almost past it now. I've had my thrill for a few months of buying things. And it's not, I'm not in a big rush, in a big hurry to buy everything. Because you know what? It's going to be there later. Or there's going to be something better in the future. I, like When I was heavier, I always I had to find something that I was comfortable in. And I'd buy a whole bunch of them. Or I'd buy many colors just so I'd have it. It was like, like a hoarding situation with clothes. Just in case I couldn't find any. Now I don't care anymore. Because there's going to be better stuff out there next year. I don't have to start... I shop till my head falls off just to buy summer clothes, you know, for next year. <clears throat> now saying that, I don't have any winter clothes because I gave them all away. And because they were, you know, the sizes were too big for me now. So, so it's sort of fun to shop for some fall and winter. And, but you know what, I'm in the house a lot of the times anyway, so it's not like I have to be fancy. But I still like having a few nice things when I go out. In the house, it doesn't matter. I can just wear my jeans or leggings and a, and a sweater or something. But anyway, I'm in the States, like I told you, in Buffalo. And I've already hit a few stores. I had a couple of returns. And I hate to tell you this, but that L'Oreal thing I just posted today, which I've used it almost for a week, and it felt fine going on. I don't believe that you're going to really see a, a big difference in a week. I, I just read about it and you know it is a popular serum the L'Oreal Revital Revitalast or something I can't remember what it's called but it's the 1.5 hyaluronic acid serum it felt great I had no problems with you know using it but then I read a few articles and it's a concern because I'm not I'm not saying anything bad about L'Oreal but there's something in it that binds it that is not the best for you I read now I'm not even sure if that's 100% true but when I read anything like that then I start doubting it so guess what I took it back to the store so I can't do a full review after all but I did read that there's something that's you know hydro high hy hyal hyaluronic acid is in a lot of products and I found one that's a little bit higher percentage not much it's two percent and it's the binding um, ingredient isn't harmful so it's by the ordinary believe it or not so I'm gonna go to Ulta and I'm gonna get 
a few bottles of it. I'm going to try it. And I would have kept the L'Oreal one because, you know, I really didn't give it a fair chance. But when I read that, it sort of frightened me. So, I mean, we're always trying to find, you know, natural ingredients, right? But I'm not sure even if the ordinary is, I don't even think that's totally natural. But we'll see. And as long as there's no harmful ingredients, I'm okay. Yeah, I read that the, the binding ingredient in the L'Oreal serum was harmful to the skin. And it was actually going against what it's all about. And it was um, giving you more wrinkles and aging. And so, and it wasn't going to take away the brown spots. So, hopefully it's not true, but like I say, when I read something, I doubt, I doubt it and I'm going to stop using it. So, I was at Hobby Lobby. I haven't been there in a year because right now I'm not interested in decorating. Usually close to Christmas I am, but I bought everything last year. I, I changed the colors of my Christmas decor and so I have everything. I even bought some extra trees at the end of the year on sale, like 75% off at Walmart. So I'm good for trees. <laughs> And I've got enough decor. I might need a little bit for the, the extra tree in the kitchen. I kind of want to do like a farmhouse Christmas tree, just a small thin one. I bought a really skinny one and I thought that would look really cute. Um, it was like $15 or something and I thought that would look cute with, you know, some farmhouse kind of decor on it with a little bit of glitz because I'm not too into country anymore, but I like the look of the, you know, um, White, the whitewashed and the um, metal look but I found three little black lanterns they're so cute they're, they're like miniature life-size um, metal lanterns and they were $4.99 at Hobby Lobby with 40% off so that was so I've never seen them before it's, it's such a tiny scale so they're a little bit heavy still but I thought three of them on a tree would look so cute with a little candle in it and uh, I might add some I want to do it more rustic so I will add you know some maybe wood pieces some galvanized metal pieces and you know me I still put a little bit of glitz and diamonds in there I just like that look and 
There was something else I wanted to put on that tree. Oh, I thought cranberries and popcorn would be really cute. Yeah, so I'm off to the next store. Where have I been today? I've been to TJ Maxx. I bought a pair of pants. Um, went to Old Navy to return something. And I bought a little top for $5. And then I went to um, Walmart quickly to return something. So I do a lot of returning. I had to return the um, L'Oreal product. So anyway, with the exchange, it's worth it, right? If it's $25, with the exchange, you're getting like $35 or something. So it's worth to return. So now I'm off to um, Nordstrom Rack, Ulta, and oh, Target, of course, and TJ Maxx with Home Goods, and that's about it. And then I'm on my way home after that. It's not going to be a long day today. I don't need any more stuff. So we'll see you back home, or I might show you a few things in Home Goods. It's always pretty in there with all their fall decor. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hi, it's Susan and uh, I'm back from my little trip and what I'm going to talk about today is the L'Oreal um, the 1.5 Hyaluronic Acid Serum for the face that I purchased last week. I, I had said to you that I was going to try it for a week and I did but I was just um, scanning the YouTube uh, channels and I found an article by Paula's Choice about it and it didn't make me feel so comfortable anymore using it and i don't want to talk bad about l'oreal because i don't want a lawsuit on my hand but i'm going to link it below the description of what it's all about so what i thought about and what i i did hear um a youtuber and i'll link his name down below and he's a young guy and i've never seen him before and he's all about skincare and um which is it's strange to me a young young guy that know so much about skincare. So maybe he went to school for it, I'm not sure. But he is, um, sounds like he knows what he's talking about. So I listened to him and um, he was talking about, you know, the hyaluronic acid. Oh my God. What I'm trying to say is that there is another product by The Ordinary that's the same kind of acid and it's, um, it's a half a percent higher but it doesn't have those buffering agents in it. So I thought I would try that. So I bought it in, in Ulta, and uh, I've heard good things about The Ordinary, so I'm gonna try it. So what I thought about doing is using it at night, yeah, using that at night, but using the buffet, the buffet, the buffet in the day for, my, for a serum. So let's start again, and let's try this one for a week. It dries down pretty good too. Just takes a few, a few seconds. So I'm going to um, use my usual moisturizer. So it was fun in the States. I went by myself. And sometimes I like going by myself. I get things done. I had a few returns. 
it's funny, you know, you buy things and you think it's it's great. Put it in the closet. And if months go by and you haven't worn it, there's an issue there. I also bought the by the ordinary, the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. And I've heard good things about that too. And it's supposed to, it's sort of like a peeling mask. So it's supposed to, I guess, slough off your dead cells. And, and it, it's, it's like a blood in a bottle. Looks pretty messy, but I'm gonna try it and I'll tell you about it. A few of you have said that you wanna see more tutorials, so I'll take you with me on the ride. So I'm gonna put my foundation on. This is the, the Forever Skin Glow by Dior. I just use like maybe one and a half pumps. You know what I forgot? Again, I do that a lot, my, um, my uh, sunblock. I'm naughty. I've noticed I've got some brown spots right here and I use a lot of sunscreen, but laying in the sun for five hours, <laughs> I reapply and reapply, mind you, I'm, in, I'm on the beach and I'm swimming, but still, I'm in the sun. I don't feel, I don't feel like I've ever, I've never had a sunburn this summer, but it still does skin damage, right? I'm gonna use my Sephora brush. This is the one that was in that kit. You know, that little set that I bought a while back. So I'm using my light finally. This one worked. I hope, I hope it makes me look a little brighter and not so dark. So I purchased um, a new concealer. I'm not sure how it's going to be. I tried it and it was pretty, pretty sticky feeling. And it's by Revolution Pro. Lisa talked about it, so I went to Ulta once and I looked for it, but it was just online. So they finally got it in into the store. So she had mentioned you don't use very much of it, like the smallest amount, like that. So let's see what happens. I tried it and it looked, it looked kind of light. Where is my, oh, here it is. So I'm, it's because it's so sticky, I'm gonna use my warmth of my finger to to melt it a bit. Because you know, if it's too drying with wrinkles, it's not a good idea. We'll see. I wonder if it'd be better to use a beauty blender, a wet beauty blender for this. So you're not tugging at your eye area. But I read that it's a really good uh, concealer. It's creaseless. And I tried it over my some freckles on my hand and it covered covered the freckles. So that's a good thing. Next time I'll try a beauty blender, but this seemed to go okay. Now I wonder if you have to powder it. Because I hate powdering it. That's why I bought this, hoping that I wouldn't. But if something's a little bit sticky and tacky. Your mascara is going to go on it. Yeah, see, I didn't even use that much. 
Hopefully that works out. And I bought the um, color C3. Cross your fingers that this one's a good one. I mean, I like the Tarte one, the shape tape a lot. But I just thought maybe this one would cover a bit more. We'll see, without wrinkles. Okay, so that's my concealer. I'm going to use my MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm almost running out, I've hit pan. Gotta get some more. It lasts me a long time. I just use it on my cheeks anyway. I don't like a lot of powder, like I say, just a touch. Just for the, when the blush and the contour and the bronzer goes on. Hula. Hula bronzer. No matter how long I sit in the sun, I still don't get much of a color, color on my face. And my legs are lily white. My arms are a bit brown, my chest is a bit brown, but that's it. I'm gonna use my Smashbox contour. I'm going to go with my rose-colored blush today by NARS, and it's called Impassioned. Okay, so for the eyes, well, of course you know I've gotta I've gotta do my eyebrows. Try to do it quick. So it's kind of sad, summer's going. I hate it. Because living in Canada, we have long winters. Very long winters. And then, you know, once Christmas hits and New Year's, all the excitement's over, then it's like death. I'm not a snow worshipper, so I don't go skiing or any of that. So we basically just wait it out. Hmm, so what did I buy yesterday? I had to buy a little, um, kind of a sweater for the winter time. Long sweater, like a sweater coat. And I finally bought a little um, faux leather moto jacket. I've always, I've always wanted one. I never bought one before, but um, I thought it would go well with a few of my outfits. Now saying that, I kind of look like a biker chick. I don't know if I'm too old for it, but it depends on how you wear it, I guess. I'll chic it up a little. So, okay, there's my eyebrows done. So now I'm going to find my brushes. And I'm gonna use the, um, the third one in for my Naked, my Naked Basic palette. Can you tell that's the one that's used the most? Yesterday I looked in the mirror a couple of times when I was in Ulta. No, 
in TJ Maxx and I scared myself. I went, because my face has gotten so small and you know, things are proceeding. Or proceeding? No. Word. Not, well, in nicer words, hollowing and drooping. Um, a pink shimmer. Suggestions, I'm trying to say, from from uh, Lisa, Lisa D1. Oh gosh, I heard what happened to her with her Instagram. I never even thought that could happen. Where it was wiped out, somebody hacked it. That's crazy, who would do that? It's crazy people, what are they getting out of it? Oh, they tried to buy it back. Who would do that? You can just, you can just uh, redo it. But it's a lot of work to start over again. It's probably somebody that, whatever, haters. Who knows? Crazy people. So I got a lot of these suggestions from Lisa by watching her for years in years. I'm gonna put a little bit, oh gosh, I'm gonna put a little dark in the corners. I'm gonna use the darkest one right here. She's such a nice, nice, personable person. Why people have to bug her all the time? Oh well, insecure crazies, as I call it. Oh, I saw how they work. The minute I defended Jacqueline Smith, Jacqueline Hill, Jacqueline Smith, the minute I said something about her, they were all over me. But you know, they're not just, you know, saying things about that I, about me talking about it, they're insulting me and my, and whatever I look like. So yeah, that's the way that they get you. I learned to ignore it. You can say what you want. Ugh. Here comes the fun part, eyeliner. I'm gonna use my magnifying one. I'm not so good at seeing what I'm doing with the glasses. Now you can see it close up with these ring lights. You can see how my eyeliner skips over the little wrinkly part, the, the edge of my eye. So I just go over it a few times. I was watching a few YouTube uh, gurus who talk about how to grow your channel, what to do, what to talk about, what you what's really important that you need, you know, in cameras, basically. And the the, the lighting is the most imp well, the lighting is the most important, other than your 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 camera or your your phone, because that makes all the difference. And in, in the lighting makes so much difference in the way you look like how close you get to do makeup tutorials so you can actually see it. Yeah, so I think it was a good purchase to buy a light because it's important. I mean, there's a lot of them that 
have a ring light and then they have two box lights as well. Mm, I don't know if I want that. My, my room's not big enough for all that stuff. So this long weekend, wonder what uh, all of you are going to be doing. I'm going to be going to visit a girlfriend tonight. We found a really cute little little pub where I live, close to where I live, and it's an outdoor and indoor, and it's so cute. They have really good good food, and it's a nice little place to go with a date, or your girlfriend, or your husband. I'm gonna take advantage of it while it's still nice out so we can sit outside. And then tomorrow I'm going to a barbecue, my daughter's. And Monday I'll probably just chill around here. I should do some housework <laughs> or some gardening. But I don't want to. I do housework, but I don't like gardening. I think if, if I had a cleaner backyard, I would like it, but it's a mess. We have a hot tub in the back. <sighs> that was great for many years. And then it broke big time. We had somebody in to see if we could fix it. It would have cost more money to fix it than to buy a new one. So. It's been sitting there in the backyard with dirty water in it. Gross. I've been wanting to get rid of it. I will I will be by before next summer, that's for sure. Can't stand it. I mean, we don't have a cottage. We don't go on family trips a lot. So it's nice to have a nice backyard, at least. And it'd be really nice to have a little pool. A lot of people don't like their pools, but I always dreamt of having a pool because we had one when I was a kid, right? So I miss it. I love swimming, even just to cool off. But a lot of people, it's a pain because our summers are so short that it's almost not worth it to some, right? I guess you could set it up at the beginning, the end of May. So you could have it June, July, August, and September. That's great, still four months. So here we go with my highlighter, my Becca Rose Quartz. I got a glow like a disco ball. And for the lipstick, I'm going to do something brighter today. I can find a good lip liner to go with it. Well, I'll use this one. This one is Pillow Talk by um, Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to use the Pink Nouveau by MAC. Give you a little swatch. It's a bright one. Maybe I should um, blend in my eyeshadow a bit more.
I don't know how to do this without taking up some of the screen here. And a little spritz. And that's the look for today. So I hope you enjoyed me blabbing again and showing you for showing you my makeup for today. See you later. I wasn't feeling the lipstick. I have too much on my eyes for that bright contrast. So if I want to wear that lipstick, I think I should go lighter on the eyes. So I'm just going to use my cream cup. Yeah, this is also Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is a Conic Nude. Mac cream cup. Mm -hmm. That's better.